So, welcome back everyone to episode 39 of our Satisfactory Let's Play, and we're going to start off by upgrading our power blank. Power blank? Power bank. Yes, I want to get this power, uh, power storage um, built probably double the height, maybe a bit higher, just so that we can start storing all that energy. As you can see, it's currently storing. See? It's charging. And it's going to bring in, hopefully, enough power for the generator setup, which we've still not completed. But we're going to get the, the first start of it, like, up and running so that we don't need to worry about power too much. So we're just going to remove these to start off with because we've got a whole floor that needs to be covered. And I know we don't need to have them perfectly in the middle. It needs to be for me so that I can sleep well tonight, so I can rest in peace. It's so much nicer having a hover pack. And for this floor, though we haven't done it on the floor beneath, we're just going to daisy chain these, just to make it easier. Now, I think currently it's going to take about an hour and 50 for us to fully charge these. So with another floor, I predict, hopefully, once we finish this, in two hours and 30 minutes, this will all be charged. Well, we've built them and uh, two hours and a half. What a, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm good at this. What can I say? <laughs> and the next thing that we're going to be doing is the packaging, well, creating the empty packages for the packaging plant. So we will build that here and we're going to be running all the packages, empty canisters, sorry, ugh, all the way across to here. But we need to do it from the other side. So, hmm, I'll have to think about that later. Maybe, maybe we could do something here, actually run it through there all the way to the end or we run it across to about here and then cut in obviously we are back at the base collecting some more resources at the moment and i'm just thinking about what i want to do for this uh, little empty canister factory obviously it's it's only going to be small but i'd still like it to be quite we don't need you quite pretty in the base so hmm I'm going to have a sip of my thinking coffee. There we go. And think about what we can do. Right, so we are here. We've got this uh, place ready. I'm going to redistribute the plastic just from this section over to here. And that's going to be 120 uh, plastic for us to play around with, which is just four constructors. That's not a lot at all, but I'd still like to do something interesting with it. So I'm thinking we should maybe start with placing down the constructors and then building a factory around it, and we'll see what we come up with. So this is the concept that we've got going on so far. As you can see, we have the walkways leading upwards, and there's going to be walls around it, and that will be overlooking a series of constructors that are lifted above. I just realized we've got five of these. Did we say we needed four? <laughs> Oh well, oh well. Uh, anyway, the the plastic will come through, be produced into empty canisters here, and then be brought down and to run back across there. I do wish we had a way to block that up. So we now have our little packager uh, building just here. Uh, it looks a little bit out of place, so we're going to have, well, to be honest, it doesn't really matter because all of the other machines around here, all these refineries will eventually be removed once the mega factory's uh, fuel plant is set up and running. It's also on its very own circuit. So if we switch this, it's now running. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And then it's going to, uh, oh goodness me, how do we get over it? Slide, come around here and go straight down, providing these are connected onto this merging line where, oh, I can't jump onto that. We go outside, you'll see it's all running along over to this area to eventually be used in the packaging plant. So that's the next thing that we need to do, make sure that it's all getting stored ready for that. So as you can see, we have now got the canisters up through this little um, section and we're going to run it all the way along. Can't you just go there to the end, like so, almost there. And here we're actually going to have to make a turn slightly to this position. Here, all goes well. I can get it in place. Come on. Ah! There. We can. No, we can't. Why can't we? Why can't we? Let me in. Is it two? Is it this? Wait, have we got two? There we go. Right, okay. You're going to go down. We'll fix that in a moment with the smart mod, but we will bring that round out. Ooh. Oh, no. We need to come out over there. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We'll just turn this around. Uh, yeah, like so. Oh, we could have just, let's just drop down there. It's gonna be so much easier. Ta-da! So we now have them coming down here. The next thing that we need, because this is obviously where we're going to be, in theory, loading our empty canisters. I'm, I'm not gonna, 
Oh, I can just do that, actually, yeah. We're going to now need to... Oh, I need steel pipes. We need to build a lot of canisters. A lot. Because really, we need to oversaturate the whole circuit. And bear in mind, we can do, what, 100 stack of empty canisters? Is that right? And each of these need 100 in them. And there are 80. Yeah, we're going to be busy now. So as you can see, guys, we've now got this up and running. We've got a, a series of industrial containers all filling up. To be honest, I have no idea how long it's going to take to fill these up. But uh, maybe I overdid it slightly, just a little. But hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will uh, be waiting here, ready for when we switch everything on. And then this will just load up all the machines so that we don't need to worry about it. But for now, we can get started on something else. So the next thing. Today, we're going to be covering all of this in foundations, and this is where we're going to be placing the generators. We will do something cool with them, like maybe what we've done earlier, but we do want all of this area to be covered with a nice little canal going through. Ha 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 ha, to new beginnings. We will pave the world. <laughs> oh dear, that actually almost killed my machine. Maybe we shouldn't do so many next time. So as you can see, we have now filled in all the foundations on that one side with this lovely little canal down the middle. The next thing that we need to do is ideally build some kind of bridge to cross it, but also to start working out how we're going to be placing all the 330 uh, generators. So to Today, we are bringing the rest of the oil, or at least the fuel that we've got in these two lines, down to our oil generator, oil generators? Fuel generator field, which is just over there in the distance. Now, the way that I've done that is I've decided to run these pipes underneath the surface, and then we've replaced that with glass, as you can see here, and that's running all the way to our temporary bridge. I know it doesn't look perfect. We're going to rework it. I want to make that look quite nice. Nice. But it's it's just just a placeholder for now, okay? Just a placeholder. So as you can see, we've only got two Mark II pipelines in this. So that's a total of 1,200 fuel that we can actually uh, use in this section. We'll probably bring the rest over as well at some point, but I'm not quite sure how. But we do need to work out how we can place another 100 generators today. That is the, the next big thing for us to do. <laughs> just 100. Um, this is obviously how we did it last time. This is just 50, but I want to make find an easier way to do this build so that it doesn't take as long. Hmm. Give me a few moments. So as you can see, guys, we are now working on the fuel generator foundations. We still need to add the structural supports for this, but you can see where we're going with this. We're going to, I think, Oh, you know what might be quite nice? What if we tiered this upwards? That could be quite cool. Oh, but we can't because that's the border. Hmm. Oh, that would have been such a cool idea. Oh, well. Oh, well. Never mind. Don't worry, guys. What you can see, though, is that we've got enough. We've got eight foundations placed in there, which is enough to give us two um, uh, fuel generators side by side or against one another and we can run them all along the outside which i'm looking forward to doing and then we're going to do something on the lower levels as well and then we'll probably have another uh section like this on the canal side just over here uh, but it's coming along slowly but surely hello and welcome back things have progressed a lot over the past week so what happened was we had a uh, rather special marathon stream and I had two of my good friends, Fruchi and Itzbits, our editor, uh, jump into the game with me and they helped me do a little bit of building. But unfortunately, I didn't manage to get any recording done. So what you can see is we've added, I think this is 150. Yeah, I think it's 150 generators. You can see that we've added them here. We're going to do another one along the other side, just so that it's kind of parallel and stepping upwards. Now, I have to say the inside of this was done by Itzbits. I'd set up the, the basics and then he pretty much did everything else with the idea of keeping it kind of in line with the other one that we've just done. And so the next thing that we need to do is cover all of this up. We're going to add some more lights. We're going to have the train running through and uh, get this hopefully piped up so that we can start producing the bare minimum requirements to get these running so that we can actually get the whole factory running because at the moment, our whole factory is out of power and we're just using the power banks to keep going. So we need to sort that out today. Or, or tomorrow, or the day after. No, it's today or tomorrow. We're almost at the end of the week. Oh no, the, 
We're doomed. So I'm just going to say this out loud. I am slightly concerned that I am not going to be able to turn on my power plant. So what we're going to do for the time being, as you can see here, is build a load more of these just along the front. We're going to have a whole section dedicated to the this power storage. Um, we're going to just place them in this middle section. They're all going to face the same way, hopefully, <laughs> which they're not currently. So we'll just delete these. But you get the idea. We're going to build as many as we can, and then we're going to get them charged so hopefully we can at least get this running soon. Also, though I haven't turned this on yet or added the pumps, you can see how we're bringing the oil, uh, the fuel up. So we've got the first one going straight up and then the second one's going to run all the way along to the next one. And I think either we're going to have to add another two coming along here or we're actually going to have to mirror this on the other side of the build as well. At least then we'll have 200, wait, 2,400 of fuel being produced and consumed here. Here we go with that is how you build a ceiling over your coal, well, it's not coal, it's <laughs> fuel generators. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And with any look, it will be finishing perfectly in time. Look at that, oh. So as you can see, we have placed down some power storage. I, I can never remember what they're called. Uh, power supply, power no, is it power storage? I think it's power storage uh, units. Those are going to be helping to contribute to us turning on this factory today uh, with any luck if we get it all done. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is connecting these three power plants, or I guess you could say uh, sections of power generators up to our diluted packaged fuel plant. And I have to say, this thing's getting much bigger than I thought it would be. This is crazy big. Um, but once we've got that going, hopefully we can get the whole system running. And if so, we can then get everything else built. All the other 280 generators, actually, I think it's 240 that we need to really get this thing up and running at 100% efficiency. So in order to do all of this, we're going to need to connect these up. And hopefully this should be, actually, I was going to just do it straight across, but we will connect it up here. Do I get it first time? Why, yes. Fantastic. We're going to connect all of these up and run it all the way. Oh no, there's no power. I can't use my hover back. We're going to be running this all the way to the end where we will then hopefully run all of these pipes underneath this section here. So as you can see, guys, we now have four layers of power plants. This is uh, starting to look pretty cool. Maybe not from this view because you can't see all of those lovely structures uh, structural supports that we'll be working on. But as you can see, we've got the pipes going through to under here where it's going to be running all the way to the end to collect all of that fuel. Unfortunately, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> when we get to this section over here, but we will uh, hopefully find a solution. And if not, we'll uh, just have to do without. In fact, I think what we'll do while we've got two sections of the, the fuel already piped up, so the two middle ones. Uh, we might try and switch this all on. I think so. That might be a good thing to do. Let's give it a go. What could possibly go wrong? So we are over at the um, packages and unpackaging plant. We've got the water in here ready to uh, get started. So we are over at the um, packages and unpackaging plant. We've got the water in here ready to uh, get started. Uh, I'm actually accompanied by the editor today. He, he, he's just spec spectating. <laughs> <laughs> Making it's sure bits. he does work. What it is. <laughs> I'm getting told off. I'm, I'm not working quick enough. So, uh, guys, do 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 drop its bits a uh, follow on Twitch if you, if you watch Twitch vo uh, Twitch vods, Twitch streams, or if you actually want to uh, check out his YouTube channel. He's going to be doing a fair amount of uh, content, I do believe, on Satisfactory for Update Five. Is that true? It is ready for update five. It's gonna be awesome. There you go. I'll put a link to both of his channels in the description, and if I don't, he will remind me. If not, it's his own like <laughs> loss. <laughs> but uh, we are now here turning on our well. We can see we've got the power here. You can see we've got seven hours worth of power stored. And now we're going to turn everything on by connecting this up. So we are taking all of the... Ooh, that doesn't work. We're taking all of these package uh, empty canisters, connecting this up. So hopefully, yes, everything's slowly turning on. Hopefully, if we fly over here, all of these will start working. Now, I, I 
thoroughly expect eventually for all of these to turn off and just have the the two rows running that we're going to be using which will hopefully bring all the water oh please work I hope we have enough power for this. I really do. Hey, look, this is beautiful. I'm going to take a shot of this. Ooh, beautiful shot of water. <laughs> Packaged water running across the balancer. And here we are inside. And hopefully... Oh, I've just realized this isn't going to work. But I've got to say, I love that. Look, look at the little particles on top of the refineries. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, we need to uh, actually get the heavy oil residue coming here, first of all. There's Bits poking his head out. Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay, so this is calling for a very temporary measure. We need to be taking all of this oil and uh, sending it all the way to the heavy oil residue plant. But we don't have enough, so we're just going to use, well, as much as we can to get going, hopefully. So as you can see, we now have the oil pumping. We actually had to remove it from this section. It was going to the, the plastic, um, oh, what do we use these for? Fuel, plastic. Oh dear, everything could turn off at any moment. That might not have been a good idea. Anyway, <laughs> these are now running all the way to here into the first two lines. As you can see, there are green lights appearing like some magical thing. Yes, that's what we need. We have all of the polymer resin going from a Mark 4 to a Mark 5. I know, I know. We need to upgrade it, but we're out. Uh, going to awesome sinks like that one there. There's also another one over there, like like right over there. Uh, but obviously you can't see it from here, which means that hopefully one of these or two of these and that Yes. Yeah. You can see this. I can see this. We have two pipes that are filling up with heavy oil residue. We might make it, guys. We might just make it at this rate. All the way over here. Here we go. We have the heavy oil residue coming to this section where it will hopefully start pumping. You say I've got this right. Come on. Okay, it's filling up. Just need to wait for this. There is a, a bit of a problem, a bit of a bug with pipes at the moment. And what we might have to do is add valves along here to stop backflow. But hopefully this will start working. Hope, hope, come on, come on. That's right. We need to wait for this to fully fill. Here you go. Now it's going to start. There we go. Into here, which is now pumping. Yes. We have our water. Yes. And here we go. This is what we want to see. So here we're going to have all of our water, package of water and heavy oil residue being turned into dil diluted package fuel. Show me. Show me. This should be the first one. Oh no. This could be a problem. Yeah, I think we've got a head lift issue. <laughs> just, just a little one. It's Actually, little no, one. We, we shouldn't though. If heavy oil, sorry, there's an auto, uh, auto save. If heavy oil is getting into this pipe to the left of us to come down, then it should have that head lift. Yeah, this should this should bring it back up to here. So we're just going to have to wait for this to saturate up. Now that there is exactly what we want to see. All of the diluted packaged fuel being sent all the way out to where it needs to go. And if we follow this along, yes. Oh, I can't. Um, oh no, we're stuck here. Yes. This is now moving along here to be um, unpackaged and we'll have all of the fuel. Oh, this is filling up here. Oh no, new problem. I haven't done these lines. I've done the ones at the other end. Oh, shoot. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. They're all avoiding the ones they need to go to. I might have to rethink these pipes. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> so we've done it. We've now got all of the fuel pumping through here and along up to this area. Uh, so, fingers crossed, in a few moments we'll see this all turning on, which means we should have enough power to get the rest of the uh, factory up and running. Let's go check it out. So as you can see, we've got a split of 300 and 300 in both of these pipes, with the fuel going to each of... Really? Really? I'm gonna have to add another pump. It's fine, it's fine. I've got, I've got some, like, just here <laughs> stored away. So what we're doing right now is we're turning on all of the generators. Unfortunately, uh, we can't do them all at once, but we're hoping to get enough power just to kickstart the ones at the top as well. If so, oh, I think I think this is as far as we can go. Are the other ones running? Please, please run, please run. Oh, 
Let's let's fly back over there and see what's happening. They're still green, which is a good sign, but power. Yeah, they're pushing along the manifold now. Yeah, there we go. So they're still running. They're still running. This is good. This is good. Keep turning on. We got this. We got this. They're on. They're not on. Come on. Turn on. Please. Yes. Wait. Yes. Yes. No. No. This could be bad. We'll have a look upstairs. Okay. So it's not quite there, but it's getting there, which is the good thing. Um, They've just switched off again. I'm getting a little bit worried. <laughs> Within a few moments, at least one of these will turn. There we go. One is turned on. Just need to give it a bit more time. A bit more. Oh, it's gone off again. We've got this. I'm going to check underneath and see how it's looking. Well, this is looking a bit more promising. Would you look at all of these turning on? He says as they turn off again. So, given a bit of time, once all the manifolds of pipes are filled up with fuel, this should all turn on. And if so, we should be able to run the whole thing by the end of next episode. Fingers crossed, guys. But we are going to leave it there. So thank you so much for watching and thank you so much, 2Bits, for joining us. Not to mention our amazing supporters, most notably our Solar Eclipse Patrons, The Calamity and Cerebral Tag, as well as our Lunar Eclipse Patrons, Dixie Chris and James Irwin, as well as Lord of July, and our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Papa Snoozy. Anyway, guys, until next time, as always, ciao for now.